Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to compile Python using CX Freeze. Now, actually Python is a good language to learn, but it has a negative. The sharing capabilities are quite low. Let me explain. So basically, if someone has Python, uh, if someone has Python, they will just double click this and it will open and you could do uh, what you want to. But if someone doesn't have Python, in that case actually you would just see the file like this like a text file it would open in a text editor and would not actually do what we are, uh, what it is supposed to do so to do that we actually need to compile the files and also one more reason if suppose I am making an, it in Python 3 and someone has Python 2 it won't work either so let's just start First off, we need to download CX Freeze. This is the link, I'll put it in the description. I use Python 3.2 in a 32 bit Windows, so I'll download this. And it will send you to Source Forge, and you'll download it there. But I have actually already downloaded it, so I'll just open this, run, install just for me. Just hold on a second while I'm installing this. Okay. And that's it. We have successfully the ended install we installed the CX freeze. But now we need to make actually the file that we are compiling. So I'll make a file right here. I'll actually use the math module just to show you that even modules work in the compiler. So I'll just do import math and then I'll do this. So basically, I assign the function math, the function sqre in the module math as the name sqrt and now I'll do I'll ask for the input and I'll prompt enter the number here and I'll do y equals square root of x I'll do print y and then I'll do press enter to exit let me just see this okay I guess that will work let's save it on a desktop and I'll name it sqrt dot py and let me just run it so I'll enter the number 16 it's 4 perfect it's working so basically this is the file that we'll compile and then we need a setup.py and that is not difficult to make you see this this is actually what we'll be typing in there I'll just put those in the description and just copy this from the description to a text editor and then do uh, then save it and I'll save this as setup.py it's important to do that and that's it we have these two files now we'll put this in the python 32 that I have it's in C Python 32 this directory if you have installed it somewhere else put it there and these two need to be in the same directory along with the python.exe and once it is finished a new directory would be created named build and that is the directory where you'll have the compiled files so first of all our setup.py isn't complete you just complete it so the name is 
sqre the description let's just type test and the executable we have here is sqrt.py okay we are done and let me start now now to do the final step that is to execute this we actually need to go to command prompt so let me just type cmd here and we do cd um, backslash um, back pardon me for that and you go to c then you, d, uh, then you do cd and python32 here you are in this directory now once you are in the directory where your python is installed and these two files are there you type this in the command line so I'll just do this I'll put this in the description too by the way uh, my directory is cpython32 that's why I have typed this if your, if your directory isn't the same you have to type the directory you are using and then python dot exe space setup dot py space build and we will just press enter and wait so that's it we are done here is the build subdirectory and you just drag it out this is your file and I'll rename it as sqrt now when I try to open this this is sqrt.exe it will ask me for the input let me just do 64 this time and it gives and it gives me the correct answer that's good so it also has the uh, math module here and that is good but there's one negative with that actually um, let me show that to you if you see this file and this file and compare the sizes you see this 126 bytes and this is 4.14 MB and why is that happening that's because it imports a whole lot of thing the, uh, a whole lot of things actually so this is a different file and then the library is quite huge and all that but this all needs to be here you cannot move it anywhere else and it's quite helpful actually I, I use it a lot okay so thank you for watching hope it helps you guys bye